YouTube, how's it going? Tweak Bigfoot back with another video, and today we're doing something a bit different. It's still Animal Crossing, but I'm talking about one of my favorite characters that I've never met. Uh, and today we're talking about Brewster, the pigeon who works at the roost. So I'm just gonna get right into this. I'm gonna make a case for why I think Brewster is coming to Animal Crossing in the next year. I'm gonna talk about who Brewster is and kind of what he does. And we're going to get right into it. So the first question I've got written down here is, who is Brewster? Well, honestly, some of you may know the answer to this already, but I, I never played the games that had Brewster in this, so I wanted to cover it. Um, Brewster's a pigeon, and he wears small round glasses, as you can see in the photo right here. He uh, wears small round glasses. He's got like a barista server style apron, like kind of tuxedo suit. Uh, his main body color is teal. It's like a typical pigeon color from the videos and research I saw. Um, and he's got a broken handlebar mustache as well. He's got it on each side of his beak, which actually is really cool looking. Uh, and then he has chicken and bird feet. Uh, I wanted to specify there because when you think bird feet, you might think Flora or Jay or like someone else. He has like chicken feet, not like flamingo feet. It's kind of odd, but he looks pretty cool. Um, and then I looked up some, I did a bunch of research um, on the Animal Crossing Wiki and Wikipedia, both links in the description. And one of the things I found on the Animal Crossing Wiki is that uh, Brewster is taller than most of the other characters and villagers, which I didn't know. I assume that because, like, if you look at this photo that I saw that I put up earlier, he is like, he looks pretty tall and he's a pigeon. Um, so compared to like a mouse, you know, or like a frog. So, it, you know, he might be a bit taller. But yeah, I guess he's taller. Um, his name is a poor man too, uh, which is a combination of two words, uh, and they are brew and rooster. Brewster. Uh, I had to look that up. I did not know what a poor man too was. <laughs> and he appears in Animal Crossing, Wild World, City Folk, New Leaf, and Pocket Camp. Um, and then he is noted as saying, drink it up, drink it hot, or give it up, which I like. I'm, I'm a hot coffee guy. Cold coffee's nice, but... I prefer hot coffee. So yeah, that's kind of like who Brewster is. You know, he's the pigeon, works at the Brewster coffee shop. It's kind of cool. But let's talk about what he did. Um, so again, this is probably not new information for all of you, but again, it might be for some of you. So we're gonna hop into that. Uh, Brewster was a pigeon, and, or is a pigeon, and he, uh, I'm gonna talk about the new leaf version. So Brewster is a pigeon, and he um, ran a coffee shop called The Roost. So at The Roost, it was in, Specifically, it was in um, New Leaf, Wild World, and another game that I'm forgetting. But we're going to talk about the New Leaf version today. Uh, so he owned and worked at The Roost, and that's a place where the player could order coffee and work as a part-time barista. So you may enter the shop and find a villager sitting at the counter, and then uh, you would serve them villager and you would serve them coffee. Sorry, and you uh, you discover what their coffee preference was through trial and error, which we're going to get into in a little bit. It sounded really cool. Um, Brewster ran this coffee shop all the way through the night where the player could buy themselves a coffee for 200 bells. Um, and Brewster, he actually, he was unique. He would prefer if you drank the coffee hot, and if you drank it cold, he was pretty shocked, which is kind of unique. He's also a hot coffee guy. Um, he was known to offer the player deliveries and subsequent jobs if they drank enough coffee. So, like, the more coffee you drank at the roost, he would give you more tasks and more dialogue and things like that. Uh, in New Leaf, if the player drank three coffees from the roost, Brewster would offer them a take-up service, which is kind of cool, like, take your coffee to go. Uh, and then at six coffees, he would offer to employ you as a part-time barista and you can make coffees for villagers this is where the uh villager can make coffee or yeah where you can make coffees as i previously mentioned you can make coffees for the villagers and that happened after six coffees so uh when you successfully completed an order brewster would give you some coffee beans where you could buy or you save them up and buy like the corn furniture like espresso machines some geodites or gy geodites gyrodite stuff uh, i can't pronounce the word right and different cool items so if you save them up he would give you those and then after you visited the roost four separate times, he would give you the option to change up their order um, or stick to the usual order. So I really like that. You could like change your order or just like stick to your regular black coffee. It was kind of cool, like a real coffee shop. Uh, and then in City Folk, after you drank um, seven coffees, Brewster would befriend you, which is really cool because so far we don't have any NPCs you can really befriend. Um, so it, it was really cool that in City Folk, they introduced that where you could befriend him and he gave you extra services and dialogues and stuff. So that would range from... Brewster offering to store the players uh, Geodites and then sell them pigeon milk and for Valentine's Day he would sell you hot chocolate and say happy Valentine's Day to you instead of saying thank you which I think is so cool and also weird like the fact that he would store your Geodites for you is really cool but we don't have those in um, New Horizons so that doesn't really really affect what I'm going to be talking about 
And the fact that he would sell you pigeon milk is kind of gross. Like, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's just like milk served to you from a pigeon. Whatever. Very funny. Um, I like that you could do that. And I like that he would acknowledge the holidays. That's also very cool. Um, like I said, I'm not going to focus on the Gyrodite stuff. One, because I can't pronounce it properly. And two, they haven't made it to New Horizons yet. And I honestly don't think they will. That could be in a topic for another video, but I don't think they're going to be there. So we're going to leave that part alone. And that's why we're focusing on New Leaf. Because primarily he just did coffee in New Leaf. There's no storage stuff. It was just coffee. So, while the summary. Um, well, like I said, I never played uh, all the Animal Crossing, so I want to summarize all of this together for you guys. I want to summarize it because I never actually, I've never met Brewster before. I never have. Uh, but in talking with my girlfriend and some other people that played the game, I realized, like, man, I love Brewster. This pigeon is so cool. Um, because I like, I like the idea of not only being able to buy the coffee, but also make coffee for my villagers. Not many people know, but I actually worked at Starbucks for uh, six months, and I actually really liked it. My favorite part of the job was just making coffee for people. Sometimes, like, the staff and people I worked with wasn't the greatest, but being able to sit and, like, work and make coffee for people was honestly one of the best things I did in a day. I really liked it. So, I love coffee a lot, and I would love to see that come to New Horizons. So, I'm going to propose a case for you guys here. So, if you just hold all your questions to the end, maybe we'll answer them. If not, just raise your hand and I'll call on you and make sure that question is answered. Uh, so, like I said... Is Brewster going to come to Animal Crossing New Horizon? I truthfully believe so. I, I actually do think so. So in the beginning of the summer of this year, 2020, um, I'm going to include some screen caps and, and tweets about this. But uh, in the beginning of June, so summer 2020, some of the villagers began talking about Brewster uh, and drinking coffee. So naturally, someone was able to grab a screenshot of this conversation because uh, that's the world we live in. And the Switch has a built-in screenshot button which is kind of cool um so we'll put it up on the screen for you guys here um i don't read french I, I really don't but i got it translated to english and the photo says imagine you are at the roost and no one is there and all you can do is get a drink with brewster so that's really cool so that's one of the villagers there talking about how um like man you're you're just alone and, and brewster is there and you can get a coffee and kind of like hang out like this cool serene picture of just sitting at like a coffee shop alone uh and then a second photo we have here is from another villager, um, Clay. It's a really cool hamster. And this one's from Twitter. Again, links for both these photos uh, and tweets are down in the description below. Um, and Clay says, I'm still wide awake. I guess Brewster was right. 17 cups of coffee is three too many. And I actually have had that photo. I have had the photo where, um, or that experience, sorry. I've had that where Clay or another villager will just come up to you and like say that. And I think that's a really cool option. So, you know, they're talking about how like Brewster make some coffee and he's like hey stop drinking all that coffee so i think that's very cool now in the photos you can all see um brewster or robusto in french uh, is highlighted with orange which means uh they're, they're indicating like a person of interest or an npc so you can get that with like tom nook or isabel as well being orange um now at this at this time there's speculation and i also believe this that brewster was coming to the game like asap like probably summer or early fall people thought like okay Brewster is going to come out and we're going to have like a nice fall coffee shop and it'll carry over to forever. But we know now this isn't the case. At least as of recording this video in December 2020, we now know Brewster is not in the game as of right now. So I, I believe the orange text was there to signify that, hey, eventually Brewster is going to come. But right now, he's just a character. They're just saying like, oh, this person, you know, this character is here. And it's important for people like me who never met Brewster that it was in orange. So you'd look it up and like, oh, Brewster was was a pigeon we'll just check this online and why is this orange so i honestly think it it was just the characters talking because as they live in this animal crossing universe we have to believe that they would have encountered brewster and they would know who he is even if we haven't seen them encounter them you'd have to know that the villagers technically would know who brewster is and at some time they would have gone and got coffee from the roost so i want to believe that it was a foretelling of what was to come but at the time of recording this like i said nothing has come of it so I'm going to assume it was just simply a reference to what is to come or to the pigeon man himself. So as of December 2020, that's all the evidence we have. So, you know, that's the video. See you guys later. No, I'm just kidding. I could end the video there. I really could. Um, but I want to make another case for why I, I want to continue my case rather of why I think he's coming. So I've shown you the evidence we've had of Brewster. Let's talk about why I still think he is coming. So like I've said, I truly do believe Brewster is coming, and I think an appearance is going to happen, and hopefully a permanent one, but let's talk about it. Considering how many Animal Crossing games Brewster's been in, I think it's appropriate to call him a series-stable character, in quotations. Like, I would say 
He has now been in like three or four games plus the movie that I haven't seen. I, I think you'd say to say he's a series staple, kind of like Blathers and the Nooks. And like they, they're, they're series staples, right? So I would call him a series staple, and I'm going to provide some examples here. Like we've seen Rover, Zipper T, Bunny, Isabel, the Nooks, Blathers, KK Slider, Red, Flick, CJ. Even, even though Flick and CJ are new versions, they had previous iterations of them. These are just new characters. Uh, Sahara, the Able Sisters, and Gulliver. Uh, and I'm sure I breezed over some more there, but you get the idea. Those are characters uh, who are not villagers, but yet provide some service or purpose to the game. You know, they sell you clothes, or they get lost in the ocean and land on your island. <laughs> or they sell you wallpapers and rugs, or, you know, move you to the island, or hide eggs everywhere and become very annoying, um, in the case of Zippity Bunny. But, you know, they're all iconic characters, is what I'm saying. Those are all series iconic characters, and we see most of them every week, if not every other week. Like, I see Flick and CJ every two weeks, easily. So, um, I think it's safe to say that Brewster is a series staple. Um, and I, I want to clarify that, because it feels strange to not have the whole gang of characters here, but be missing our boy Brewster. Like, come on. Let's, let's, let's bring him back. Like, if I can quote Jenny Nicholson here, where is our boy? Like, where is my boy Brewster? Um, you know, there's been many seasonal characters that have stopped by for like a day or a week or way too long again Like Zipper T Bunny or Rover or Franklin um, And soon Jingles and Pave are coming They're all seasonal characters that come for like a day or two or maybe three weeks if you're a bunny And they all come for a bit and I don't want that for Brewster I, I mentioned them because they're all limited run characters um, And there's so much dedication and like, like you know, nuance to their events and people and that people get excited Like I got hyped for Turkey Day I'm very excited for Toy Day, so I think that if Brewster can come back full-time and I was a seasonal character, it'd be better, because Brewster is the type of person, like, you don't want to have a, a moving coffee cart, like, that's cool and all, if he comes back as, like, a moving character for, like, a, a day a week, I guess, but I want him to permanently be somewhere on my island, um, instead of a limited release. Now, here's why I think this would work. There is a market for it. As someone that has played Animal Crossing for genuinely almost every day this year, I think I've missed like 30 because I didn't buy it on launch. So we'll say I've missed a month, cumulatively, that I have played every day this year. I can tell you there's a market because bringing Brewster in would give players something more to do. Not that we're out of stuff to do, but I know some people are getting frustrated, right? Like, it's a long game. So having the ability to buy coffee, whether it's from the Roost coffee shop or just like a traveling coffee cart, or a shop in the museum, wherever Brewster goes, it'd be a little, a great little addition to the game because uh, it would just really liven up the place. And like, furthermore, being able to deliver coffee to your villagers would add another layer of personal touch to the game that it would give players another opportunity to connect with their favorite villagers. Like, if I could bring Flora a coffee, or if I could bring Puck a coffee, I would lose it. Puck, Puck, please move to my island. I would love that. Being able to bring coffee to people, I think, is a really cool personal thing. Um, and I think it would be a really nice experience to walk into the roost and see Brewster working at the espresso machine. And like one of your villagers is sitting there, there's music in the background. And it's just like a nice little thing where you can sit down and talk to Brewster or buy your villager a coffee or just like pick up your coffee and go. It would just make the game that more personal. Um, and as I mentioned before, we're going to talk about the part-time job experience because I did mention this where you could make coffee for villagers. And I think this would be a really cool addition to the game. Like I want this in the game. Um, so I'll explain what it was and then I'll talk about it. So as I mentioned before, you could go into the roost and after you've got like this level of friendship in quotations with Brewster, he let you make coffee and be a part-time employee. Uh, and he'd pay you in coffee beans. Super cool. Um, so yeah, you, you had this mini game where your villagers would come in and you could make them a coffee. And it was really cool because there was four coffees to choose from. So blend, blue mountain, Kilimanjaro, and mocha. And then there was also milk options for none, a little, the regular amount, or a lot. And finally, there was sugar, which is none, a spoonful, two spoonfuls, or three spoonfuls. And every villager was different. I know villagers would have overlapped because there's only so much you can do there, but every villager was different. And without looking it up, you had to like figure it out or write it down so you would remember what your villager liked. Um, and I think that's a really cool feature for New Horizons. Maybe you shuffle up their favorite coffees and change it, or it's the same that they've had before. But really, whatever it is, like... I think it'd be a really cool popular feature because if you look at New Leaf and then compare it to New Horizons, it's very clear that New Horizons made some great changes and upgrades. But in this regard, I can't imagine them changing the minigame this much, but I do have an idea. So I can see a world where Brewster has you delivering coffees to villagers or like Tom Nook and Isabel or people that can't leave their stores like the, the Able Sisters. 
So I think it'd be really cool because having this delivery service would be a great opportunity to increase interactions with the NPCs that don't get attention, like M uh, Mabel, who is the able sister on the sewing machine, or Blathers. Like how many times do you just go talk to Blathers if you're not gonna give him something? And once you give him all the stuff, then he just sits there alone reading his newspaper, you know? So the fact that you could like bring him a coffee, it, it would really like liven up your experience with that person. And then maybe they have like a, a system where they like, once you give them the coffee, they're like, oh, thank you. And like, why they'll tell you why they love this coffee. Like why they pick Kilimanjaro with no milk and two sugar, or, you know, like how this coffee is going to influence their day uh, or how much they appreciate it. You know, and just hearing those things as someone that was a barista for, for that time, was really cool. I love those interactions. Um, and you don't get to have those in New Horizons, and I think having Bruce today would be great. So this part-time job experience, in summary, has so many opportunities to be great if it, if it does come. And I'd love to see Nintendo take on the role and fully flesh, fully flesh out this idea. And that's why I don't want the traveling coffee cart, because then you're losing that opportunity to be working and and you know help out Brewster and, and bring people coffee. So I really want this to be permanent. now. Let's talk about the player base, because as someone who plays this game, and, and you who are watching this video probably like Animal Crossing or wondering why, you know, I'm talking about a pigeon that sells coffee. But the player base, I think, um, would love it if one of their series favorite characters came back to the player's island. Because as I said before, I am calling Brewster a series favorite character, and I would love it if he came back. So I think I'm not alone in that. I think if, if Brewster came back, other people would love it. I think it would be really cool for them be like, wow, Brewster is my favorite in New Leaf. I played this game when I was in high school, you know. Um, I want him to come back. I want him to be here. Or the, or new people. Like, you know, new kids are playing this game. Or me, who has never met Brewster. It's an opportunity for me to be like, wow, like, I've never met Brewster, you know. Some people have walked away from this game. Um, and I know personally, like, if there's a big update, like Apex Legends, for example. When it dropped Season 5, it was a brand new update. I was hooked in that game for the entire season. And Brewster coming back could have... That opportunity and that effect on players that haven't played the game or players who've fallen out you know it, it really um it could be a big game changer and it gives the opportunity for people to meet this brewster they never met and like learn about making coffee for people and it really could be a cool experience um people who haven't purchased this game might this might be the final push they need to finally pull the trigger and pick this game up which like if you have a switch you probably should go buy it i'm telling you this it's worth it um, like I stated earlier, Brewster is a very popular character, and I think bringing him back may bring forth a whole new wave of people. Honestly, I do. I think it's a really good opportunity for people to come back. So, yeah, I think the player base as a whole would love it if Brewster came back, and there's a lot of opportunity in market for it. Alright, that brings me to my final point of when. If Brewster is coming, when could we see him? Well, I looked it up, and I actually I don't know why to look it up. I knew this before I looked it up. Animal Crossing New Horizons launched on March 20th, 2020, and we are rapidly coming up on that one year anniversary of this game being released. It's crazy to think about, but it's coming. Um, and we know that Pave is coming to celebrate Festivale, and that's technically, it's like the Animal Crossing celebration of Mardi Gras. So it's going to be in the be in the end of January or beginning of February. So, uh, you know, we know that's coming. Keep your eyes posted for, for a video about that. I'm going to talk about what I think that event is going to be. So that's coming soon. Um, and I think it's safe to assume that after Pave has come and gone, there will be a one year anniversary celebration of the game, uh, which will conclude at the end of the season one, if you want to call it that, at the end of season one in quotations, and the beginning of season two, if you want to view it that way. Um, even though people like myself don't have an island that started on March 20th, I think Nintendo will be like, our first year was fantastic, thank you all for joining us, season one, again in quotations, is ending, and we're going to have a brand new wave of content, because, um, this is a big game, and they want to keep adding to it, right? Like, I, um, I would guess that the developers have a contingency plan for at least, I would say, two more years of content. This is a flagship game for the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo as a whole, so I want to believe that they've got a big contingency plan of how we're going to make this game fun and interesting. So, my guess is that uh, at the beginning of the second season of Animal Crossing New Horizons um, is when Brewster will come back. And it makes sense to introduce a new character to start off your second year, because after looking at all the speculation around him, it became clear to me Nintendo wouldn't want to release all their content in the first year. Like, if they just dumped him in the first year, and they had, you know, whatever else they have planned come out in the first year, then people would stop playing. They'd be like, okay, well, there's nothing new. So, like I said, they're going to have the contingency plan. So, I think Bruce, uh, Brewster is going to come out at the beginning of Season 2, again, in quotations. Um, and all being said, this is all my personal opinion, but I think it is safe to assume that we are going to see Brewster, and he's going to come out after the first anniversary, so I'm guessing probably April. 
If they have Pave in the beginning of February or end of January, they'll have the one one year celebration in March, and then probably April, mid April, uh, they'll have Brewster come, and that'll kick things off to start the new season. So, yeah, that's my guess. I'm I'm almost confident we're gonna see Brewster, and I hope I'm right. If you guys have made it this far, I just want to thank you for watching all the way. I would love to hear any feedback or thoughts on this in the comments below. Uh, it's been a, it's a really long video actually. But I really care about this pigeon. Like, I am so hope when he's here. But only time will tell. So, can't wait to find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, uh, if you have any feedback or questions or you want to talk about it, hit me up in the comments below. I would love to talk more about this or what you think the next year is going to hold for Animal Crossing. Uh, if you want to see more content, I've got a lot more Animal Crossing content on this channel. So, feel free to check that out. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace out.